Trees capture CO2. What if we could help them capture enough carbon to offset the up to 1.2 billion tons produced here every day? If we treated just 15% of all U.S. forests with a protective spray called Solbear, we could. Plants have a built-in protection system involving the use of tiny membranes within the plant cell called chloroplasts. Under optimal temperature and sunlight conditions, chloroplasts gather near the top of a plant cell to engage in photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is released. However, during strong sunlight conditions, the chloroplasts retreat to a safe zone and the photosynthesis process is turned off. After nine years of intense research and study, horticultural scientist George Baker and atmospheric physicist Cliff Fairchild have made a breakthrough in the effort to extend the photosynthesizing time of plants. That was really where the idea spun that, oh, well, we'll just use the plants to clean the air. And as they harvest the carbon, they release twice as much oxygen. Solbear enhances this natural process, allowing plants and trees to capture even more CO2. The best part? With Solbear, we don't have to plant new trees. We can improve the millions we already have. Healthier plants, cleaner air. The best solution is Solbear.